Once again, we thank our sponsors who help us put this show on the air. The Comfort Inn of downtown Denver, with their fabulous location, stunning atmosphere, and free breakfast. Their special metro state rate of $79 is hard to beat. And of course, Dex. Dex is your most complete, up-to-date source for information. In the book and online at DexKnows.com. From one diamond to another, our baseball team has strapped on the cleats, tightened the batting gloves, and is set to make another run at the RMAC tournament in May. But that run will be led by yet another head coach for the program. Reporter Michelle Chaya gives us the in-depth look at the coaching change and the upcoming season for our baseball team. Change always comes with a new baseball season, but Metro State has had to deal with more than their fair share. For the third season in a row, and fourth in five years, the Roadrunners have a new head coach leading the team. The players have their own words to describe the merry-go-round of the coaching changes. Uh, it's been unique. Challenging. I'd say hard work. This year's head coach is Tom Carcione. He understands the frustration that these players have had to endure. You know, I think when we got together in the fall and started our fall practices, I, I think that's where the kids maybe had a lot of their anxiety, you know, and not knowing what to expect from the new coaching staff. A change at the top always brings different ideals, different strategies, and even different personalities. But it's the players that remain the same, and they must come together as a team to become one cohesive unit. It all goes with working hard. We all have each other's back, and when we're, when we're out here running, when we're out here practicing, we all work hard for each other, and I think that brings a lot of chemistry into the team, which in time just makes us almost like brothers. Carcione inherits a team that went 28-24 and 24 last season, earning a spot in the RMAC tournament. While the runners went 1-2 and two in the double elimination tournament, the coach likes what he sees on the field for this season. From an offensive standpoint, we're going to be able to put the ball in play, make things happen, be aggressive. And defensively, I think we're going to be pretty strong. Uh, when I look at our pitching staff, uh, when we look into our depth, you know, I think there's a lot of unanswered questions on some of the players that are returning or some of our new players and what roles they're going to fit into. But despite all the turmoil Metro State's baseball team has had to deal with, the game is still played with a glove, a bat, and oh yeah, a baseball. It's just baseball, you know, it's something we've done since we were little guys. But when it all comes down to it, you're still playing 90 feet, 60 feet for a pitcher. You're still playing the same game, so it's never different. For the Roadrunner Review, I'm Michelle Chaya. Thanks, Michelle. Metro State was picked to finish third in the Mountain Division and sixth overall. Metro State first baseman Jordan Stauffer and outfielder Chris Redding were named to the preseason all-conference team. Check out the rest of the preseason poll brought to you by the Hilton Garden Inn. We'll be right back. Thanks for coming back to the program. Every month, we want to bring you stories about our student athletes off the field, off the court, off the diamond. You get the picture. This month, we follow the women's basketball team to the Colorado I Have a Dream Foundation. Even though the team is smack dab in the middle of their season, they still find time to help out children who may need some life lessons, a guiding hand, or just someone to lean on. Reporter Amy Woodward with the story. The basketball season can be a long and arduous journey. Injuries mount up and emotions can get the better of even the best of coaches. So head coach Linda Lappy calls a timeout from the season and leads the women's basketball team to make an assist at the Colorado I Have a Dream Foundation. Um, we have been coming here once a month and it's a time for us to give back to the community. While the women's basketball team is in the midst of fighting for their playoff lives, the players see this as an opportunity to set the season aside for a little while to make a difference where it is needed. It is a nice break definitely. Um, you know, our, my, being in the middle of the basketball season, our mind is really going and focused all the time on just basketball sort of things and it definitely um, brings us back to kind of reality of other things. I think the biggest thing is sometimes during the season you get caught up in what you're doing and everything revolves around your team and this, this helps because these kids do not care how many games we've won, how many games we've lost, how well they've played. The foundation was created so children were reached before trouble could find them first. Metro State comes by to teach them a variety of life lessons from team building to math and of course a little basketball. Well, they teach us different poses for basketball, and they learn, they teach us about self-respect and character. We do homework, and we go on field trips, we play games. 
Mentoring can help a child go a long way in providing them a blueprint for life and education. But just having someone for the kids to talk to, to play with, or just to stand next to can help make great strides in building confidence. You know, I never really got to do anything like this as a kid. The only kind of thing I did was maybe sports camps. And I know that it was always really fun to have um, older kids to talk to and to help us out and things like that. You know, it's, it's, they're really great to look up to. Colorado I Have a Dream encourages education, and if the children stay in school and maintain their grades, the foundation will provide tuition assistance for college. You know, just the fact that you hear kids talking about going to college and things like that is, is huge. And, you know, without this program, I'm not sure some of the kids would ever even know what college is. For the Roadrunner Review, I'm Amy Woodward. Thanks, Amy. Now it's time for the Plays of the Month brought to you by Miller Coors. Our first play comes from the Joe Davies Open in Golden. Senior distance runner Rick Bogote finishes first in the 800 meter run in a time of 1 minute and 58 seconds, a full second in front of the number two finisher. Play number four, it's only practice, but Metro outfielder Marcel Dominguez tracks down a fly ball, slides, and nabs it before it hits the ground. The baseball team making great plays before the season even starts. On to number three, let's check out a couple dunks from Reggie Evans first, a tomahawk slam. This guy loves the open floor. Then later on in the same game, Evans comes up with the steal and powers it down with two hands. This guy can jump out the building. Play number two comes from the women's b-ball team versus Regis. In the spirit of the Super Bowl, Jasmine Cervantes goes deep to find Chelsea Williamson who gets the defender off her feet and she puts it in off the glass. Almost Peyton-esque. Yeah, I have a man crush on Peyton Manning. And on to the top play of the month. Here's the play-by-play -play on the call. Does not go in. Reggie Evans will come up. He'll push it. He's got Dante Nicholas who's wide open. Champ! Dante Nicholas goes up strong for the two points. Huge basket for Metro. So that does it for the top Metro plays of the month. Hope you enjoyed those and remember that it is brought to you by Miller Coors. Miller Coors wants everyone to remember to drink responsibly. Thanks so much for tuning in to this month's show and make sure you check us out next month for more high-flying Roadrunner action. For the Roadrunner Review, I'm Eric Lansing.